A very good morning. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So, what's in this video? In this video, I am going to show you a very simple thing. Encrypting files with a password. How can you encrypt a file with a password? In this video, I am going to show you a very simple GPG commands to encrypt and decrypt the files with a password so that you can transfer your files uh, securely over the network. So let's start with the topic. As uh, Before I, I can start, I'll like to show you this beautiful Mitsubishi engine. It has a performance air filter here and it has a performance uh, say the free flow exhaust you can see the shining out here so it's beautiful so I'm also going to have all these in my car so forget the car come to the job so again you know I have a virtual machine here for you so I, what I'm trying to show you is that how can you encrypt the file using very simple very elementary GPG commands suppose I have a file so I create a file here secret or I give it a name top secret this is a top secret file and has to be transferred securely whatever I do a control D I come out now I want to send this file I can do a cat and top secret I want to send this file to my friend but I had to make sure that the file should not be readable by the person other than my friend or the legitimate person so what can be done very simple if you don't uh, want to share the GPG keys or you don't want to go into the public key encryption you can simply give the command it's a very ele very elementary command the first step you can just give the command GPG hyphen C and then give top secret that's it it will prompt you for a passphrase you can give any password that you should remember and make sure you don't do any typo errors while giving the passphrase because if you have uh, done a typing error while giving the passphrase and you lost and you, you and you don't know what you had uh, typed there in the passphrase your data is gone forever I can tell you that so here I give the pass uh, like passphrase as say Friday though it's not Friday F-R-I-D-A-Y F-R-I-D-A-Y job is done if I show you here I have one more file coming up here top secret dot gpg let me show you this file if, if we give a cat and top secret dot gpg it is what I am getting the data is totally encrypted now you can transfer this file to your friend via email or scp or whatever or whatever uh, medium you wish to choose then how your friend is going to decrypt it obviously he should be knowing the same passphrase or the password that you had done or given while encrypting the file so he, sh he just need to give gpg and uh, then give the file top secret dot gpg that's it he will be prompted for the passphrase now your friend should having the same passphrase what you had given while encrypting the file so here i give friday uh, obviously the because the file exists already here so I can do a no here and give a new file name say I give top secret 2 anything that's great so here if I do a screen clear and I show you here I have one more file coming here top secret 2 and if, if I do a cat of top secret 2 it is what I had written that was great one more thing is there uh, if you see here uh, if, if I show you top secret dot gpg it's coming in some uh, like um, some jumbled up characters are coming up here at uh, like suppose you want to uh, do the encryption and you you want to convert your file into a sky code so what has to be done nothing just do a C, a gpg just put up a a here a for armor armor means convert into a sky and then your file name top secret it will again prompt you for the password give the password whatever you wish to give here I'm giving Friday F-R-I-D-A-Y F-R-I-D-A-Y that's great so if you see here now the file extension has automatically comes up to top secret dot ASC whereas previously it was GPG so even uh, you can find out with the extension only that the whether the armor has been attached with the file or not so what difference does it make let me show you 
If I give a cat top secret dot gpg, you get an output like this. If I get a cat top secret dot asc, you get an output something like this. It is everything is converted into ASCII code. So that makes more sense as far as uh, my preferences are concerned. And nothing will change at your friend's end. He just need to know the password, and he will be just be giving gpg and then the file name. Say top secret dot asc, or he can. Also, give a alternate email. Uh, sorry, the file name. He can give like this: decrypt. This is one more way to decrypt the file. Hyphen hyphen output, and then some file name. Say, this is go to hell. Dot txt. Well, the file name is not good, but fine. Uh, and then your file name. So what will happen now? The file will be. I'll just make it a slightly bigger for you. Oh, that was better. I do a adjustment. Some adjustments are need, are need, are needed here. So what it will do? It will decrypt the file, and the output file name will automatically be named as go to hell dot txt or whatever name you want to suggest, and it will be decrypting top secret dot asc. You just be prompted for the password. Give the password Friday, and the job is done. If I do a ll here, and if I show you here. There's a file there. Go to hell.txt. Just view it. Go to hell.txt, and it contains the same data. But uh, it's very simple. I I hope you understand the concepts. That the first thing you need to give is the GPG, and then hyphen C, and then the file name. Whatever file name you want to wish, you want to encrypt. And if you wish to like put up a armor also, you can put up a armor here like this, and you can decrypt it by using this command to alternate. Uh, file name rather than the same file name, but th but there are some limitations as far as uh, this uh, uh, tool of the GPG is concerned. The first thing is that every time you you will be prompted for the password while encrypting and decrypting it, so so that can be a pain in the neck. The other thing is that it is actually not a good idea. Why? Because you are giving uh, your passwords or the secrets to your friend or whatever. means the person you are sharing your file so it can give him a hint or a clue that what kind of secrets alok uses so in case our relations goes bad so i had already given him a lot of hints of the kind of passwords i i uses and the third uh, reason is that it is actually not a true public key encryption if but it gives you a very handy and a small tool to encrypt and decrypt the files so i hope you like this video and you also like uh, the powerful mitsubishi engine back there and i thank you once again and uh, god bless see you soon with more tips and tricks on our youtube channel thank you